Hey, what's up guys? It's Booster Rider. Um, today this video is just going to be showing how to install the rear swing arm with the torque settings, the tools you need, everything else. So here's the tools you are going to need besides the stuff to take the wheel off and everything else. This is just related to this swing arm. So you're going to need a 14 millimeter wrench. Um, this is a 17 millimeter I use the wobbly socket, but I just like that. This is this is for the uh, bolt for the shock. Uh, torque wrench that goes to at least this is a hundred pound, hundred foot pound torque wrench, just something like that. Uh, really, this just goes onto this. It's just a half inch wrench ratchet. I mean, um, so here's what you really are gonna need. A 14 millimeter hex socket. Definitely gonna need one of those. Um, 27 millimeter socket. This is for the main bolt. And this is the special tool that I made. <laughs> it looks pretty ghetto, but it works. So uh, to get those those lock nuts loose, uh, I used a what's this one and an eighth socket, Craftsman. 12 point um i was gonna take them off didn't have the tool i'm like oh shit excuse my language and so i was like well i need to get this off and so what i did was take this socket put it in a vise right here take the grinder and just cut downward just a little ways and then just went around same on both sides knock those pieces off and then i got the two prongs where i can get that lock nut on and off and it works worked good okay so here's my swing arm uh these are the little spacers right here um so on this left side it's going to be sticking out on the right side it's going to be in a little ways and that's because this uh the lock i mean the uh adjuster bolt over here for the spinner sticks out on this side it's inward Should be. All right, there you go. Now you don't have to put this nut on there yet. Although it doesn't really hurt anything if you want to just start to thread it. So you don't lose it like I always lose all my bolts. Now, I don't know if both sides are like that, but on this one, and I don't think it's really supposed to be, but this lock uh, nut is basically stuck or seized onto this. But that works for me too. Actually it makes it easier. Otherwise, you could take the lock nut off, screw this down by hand, then put the lock nut back on. So I'm going to show you the method that I use without having that size of a hex socket on this side. And I'll show you without, without this. So the other side didn't do that, but this one is supposed to be able to come off free from that. Alright, so my biggest size I had was a 17, I guess. So, not big enough. But what I do take a big screwdriver and make it fit the rest of the way and you don't need a, any real pressure with this at a, really at all seven foot pounds is nothing and uh, I want to get it tight that's already that's probably already seven foot pounds trust me it was pretty tight 
So now this is tightened down properly. Now we're going to go to the lock nuts. So I mean, with these big, huge hex nuts, it doesn't matter if you don't have the tool. It doesn't have to be that tight. And they're not really that hard to get off either. They're not torqued down. That other side was because it seized on to that adjuster. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and torque down the lock nuts. Now we do the one. And there we go. 43 foot pounds. That's our special socket. It's not perfect. It does work. It can be a little hard to hold it still while you're trying to torque it down. But... Right now it's just, it wasn't tight at all. Sorry, apparently had a long ways to go before it snugged up. There we go. All right. And so. All right, well, that's already. Yep. Okay, well, that's all the torque we need. Seemed uh, a little less, and it didn't seem like it clicked as loud as normal. But that's what it's saying. Alright, we're going to go back over here. Now we're just going to take the main bolt. Here's the main bolt. Um, and here's where you're going to need that other hex. I did polish out the ends just because I, if I had it off, I might as well do it. All right. So this side over here. It shouldn't have a problem. And here's where our 14 will go, along with anything will work, a half inch or whatever size you got. Put it right there. Let's go to the other side. All right, and that's about as tight as you can go with hand on these. They are like self-locking nuts. Here's where you're gonna put the 27 millimeter socket. And then I'm going to use the torque wrench again. On this one, we're going to torque it to 69 foot pounds, it looks like. There we go. That's how it's supposed to click. I don't know, the other one just didn't seem right.
and that's more than good enough. All right, guys. Well, that is how you install the swing arm. Everything's torqued down correctly. Everything's good to go. All right, I hope you found the video useful. Um, of course, taking it off is the reverse order. The hardest thing is really getting these lock nuts that are this that certain way loose. Um, so you got to kind of make that little special tool. But for the hex bolt, the adjuster part, you can you can get away with that big socket, which was the seven the big seventeen hex, which is as big as I had, and I had I thought that was pretty big. Apparently not big enough, and uh, and a screwdriver because you don't need to torque it high. You don't need to torque much. So, all right, guys, stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully, I'm gonna be putting the chain on. All right, guys, take care. Later.